Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, we are going to have a look AI in Power Automate, also named Copilot. We are going to have a look also to a new designer which increase the usability and productivity of the Power Automate editor. All right, let's get started. Here I am in make.preview.powerautomate.com. For this demo, I created a new environment and I target US as environment. This is very important because it gives you access to the preview of Copilot, which is the AI applied to Power Automate. So this is the new homepage experience and what I have here is the text box that will allow me to describe what I want to create in Power Automate. Down below I have the learning for every level. This is the learning path provided by Microsoft, which is also useful if you want to get certified in Power Platform, for example. Clicking on the first link, analyze process mining reports with process advisor, I can see that there are several models with time which give me the chance to get more insights about this topic. But now let's try to ask something to Copilot. Let's say that I want to create a new Power Automate flow. Then I will write something here. In my scenario, I have a plan in Planner with a lot of completed tasks and I want to keep clean at this plan. To do that, I'm going to create a new Power Automate flow and as per description, I want to delete all completed tasks in Planner. Adding this description and clicking on the link Submit will interrogate directly Copilot to create a solution. And now I have here a suggestion down below. As a trigger, I have when a task is completed, which is perfect for my use case. And down below, I can see additional steps. Get tasks detail, get user profile and send an email to inform someone that the task is deleted, for example. If I click on Next, I will accept this suggestion. Then I have to confirm the connection to every connector and all permission. Now I'm going to click on Next again. And here I can start to configure my trigger. When a task is completed, I'm going to target one that I have here, for example, YouTube and then I'm going to target YouTube tasks. I can keep this send an email blank. I will fill out this later. Now, if I click on create flow, this will bring me and drop me on the new editor experience of Power Automate, which is definitely better than the classic experience. Because first of all, in the in the corner here, in the left down corner, what I have here is several functionality which allow me to navigate my flow better. For example, I have the toggle mini map. This is pretty useful if you have a huge flow and you want to identify or you want to highlight specific steps of this flow. It's pretty useful. Then I can fit the view with this other link I can change the zoom, I can zoom out, zoom in and fit again the, the designer and my flow on the page. On the right I have Copilot open which is in preview and I can see now down below the text box I can ask everything here if I want and if I click on this little icon this open a short and little panel which give me the chance to add an action directly asking this to Copilot. I can edit the flow, I can explain flow, what this flow does, for example, or ask a question. If I click on explain flow, this um, will provide an answer coming from Copilot. As I mentioned, it's in preview. Sometimes you can get this kind of message. Sorry, I couldn't understand, but normally Copilot provides you the detail about what this flow does. Now, if I click here again, I can ask every kind of thing that I want. 
And very important is if I click on a specific step, on a specific action of my flow, this opens the panel on the left and here I have the new experience. Before navigate through this new experience on the left panel, I want to highlight the fact that clicking on the actions icon of Copilot, I can navigate the context so I can explain. I have now explain action. This is pretty useful if I want to get more information about a specific, uh, a specific action of my Power Automate flow. I can close and reopen Copilot. I can ask to delete, for example, the get user profile step in my flow or any other specific step in the flow. Now let's navigate the left panel here that I have here open. So here I can add all the parameters needed to save my flow, for example, I have to provide a subject here. I have dynamic content that I can add or I can pick up a function, for example, as we are used to, to work with uh, Power Automate flow. Now, let's say here that I'm going to pick up um, just a simple parameter just to have something in the, in the email. And here, let's say task deleted. So let me add here a dynamic content, let me add a blank space, let me highlight this specific part, then I'm going to pick up the parameter that I want. I'm going to type not task, but let me go down. I have get task details. This is exactly what I want. And I can select, for example, the, the description or when a task is completed, it's better because I have more information here. I can click on the button see more to expand all possibilities and let me get the title here. Task with title deleted. Just uh, something uh, like that, very easy. Then I have additional tabs and functionality here. I have settings, I have general action timeout, networking, run after, here I can uh, change something for example if i click here this will uh, trigger when the previous step is successfully performed i can click on the button uh, go forward even if this is uh, has timed out or is skipped or has failed and now here on top of my action i can see all a little circle with with a color which identify every specific uh, status of the previous step. In security, I have secure inputs, secure outputs and tracking. Then I have code view, just to have a recap of my action. Here I have, I have testing, I can disable static result and I have about related to the connector. So this is the panel and this is the new experience, how it looks like. Now I can click on the button save and this will save my, my flow. It's still saving and now let me show you something else. I'm going to click on the back button because now we have two editor experience. Now the flow is saved, I can click on back. So you have still the, way, the ability to navigate and display the flow with the classic designer. If I click on the first link, I can see now the classic designer showing up for this flow. Here we go. If I click back, I can now clicking on edit, see the new designer showing up with this second link. Try AI powered editing preview. Let me click on this one. And now I have the new editor that will open. Here we go always with Copilot on the right. I can ask everything. So I can give it a try by click saying, for example, delete, send an email action. I don't know if I have luck, but if I send this, normally the Copilot will delete the specific step that you mentioned and name it. So now it's in preview, it's, it doesn't really work 
100%, but, but this is the purpose of Copilot. All right, let's see now the new experience. If I click on another action here, I have the experience that I've seen before. I can add a note here. I can rename my action, get tasks detail, or I can add a new action. For example, let me click on this one. And here I have all possibility. I can enable triggers or actions. And here I can search, for example, typing Outlook. This will give me all actions for Outlook.com or Office 365 Outlook. I can type SharePoint, for example. Let's say that I want to get lists in a specific uh, SharePoint site and I have to confirm by clicking on the button sign in. So I will uh, grant permission for this connector. Let me click on this first account and now the authorization is provided. I need to target now a specific uh, SharePoint site. And this is how it works, the new experience, by adding uh, new elements in the page. What I found pretty useful is also the way to move around my flow. It's more easy without going on the scroll bars that this is a part of the classic experience in the new experience now in every point i can click with the left button of my mouse and keep it pressed at the left button i can move all around my power automate flow it's very intuitive and easy now to navigate my business logic in my flow and what i found find very useful is this other icon toggle minimap and uh, it's, it gives you a very nice uh, way to move around your, uh, your Power Automate flow. Imagine that you have uh, different branches here. It's very complex. You can expand and collapse your flow. And through this functionality, now we reach a very nice user experience with this new editor. All right, we have seen Copilot in Power Automate. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like and add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about artificial intelligence applied to Power Automate. I hope to see you next time.